Hey yo, welcome back to the Koala Show. If this is your first time, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. If you would hit that like and subscribe, a brother trying to get to a thousand subscribers, and I could really help you along the way. I mean, you could really help me along the way. Now, this is during the first 100 videos. During the first 100 videos, I'm gonna not script nothing. I'm just gonna speak my heart on some things. And now that you are caught up on where I am, I need to speak on this. I, as you can tell, I'm a very religious person. I've always been religious, but I didn't always have all the answers. I read in the book, it said, <laughs> it told me, you know, the book told me I could do things. They told me I could ask and I'd be answered. I didn't know exactly how I'd get these answers, but I believed in what I was reading. So, as I continue through this life, I am, I was waking up more and more to the reality of how quick this life goes by. It's It can be over in an instant. And that causes two things. I probably should have put up the devil horns, but I ain't giving the devil no power here. So, two things. One is love. And one other little thing here is fear. You either give it into fear or you're living through love. You like everything you, you your basic life is thinking about um, how stuff's going to affect you and then you proceed or you don't think about how it's going to affect you and you still you just doing whatever you want in the moment so you no matter what no matter what you are just making choices and with that choice is the power you don't realize it that the free will that you are doing every single little thing every single thing that you do is your free will being executed so that was the that was the gift from God to us humans now we have the ability to do whatever we want but we also have this book that tells us what we shouldn't do. What's not right. What to look out for. Now I wouldn't be a good. Like I want to be a perfect son to God. I want to say everything that needs to be said. So this video might be a little lengthy. And it might offend a few people. But I'm going to get break, break down the Bible one more time. And then I'm going to explain to you why certain things that are being deemed normal in this society are very, very detrimental and point out how the end of times are probably closer than any of us really know. So I want to make sure that while I'm here on earth, I can bring as many people to Jesus. And... The fact that I believe what I believe and everything I believe is from what I've read in the Bible. That's the place I live from. I, my old self got rid of that. Nowadays, I'm focused on Jesus and what he sees fit because that's what I see fit. Jesus is half of the puzzle. You're the other half. His half of this puzzle is the connection, but the bridge between God and humans. Because God is holy and humans are all imperfect. We're all beautiful. We all are meant to be here and we all have a purpose. We all are a vessel for the Lord. And I believe 
since we are plagued with the devil anyone who believes in Jesus has Jesus so Jesus was literally the token of God God switched it up he said instead of sacrifices I'm going to sacrifice instead of y'all doing sacrifices for your sins to be right how about this my son's going to calm down He's going to be an example of how to walk through life. He's going to walk through life without sinning, then he's going to die. And from his sacrifice, every single person is worthy. Since I'm not God, but imagine I'm God talking. Since my son died for y'all I don't remember nothing you did wrong when you stand before me and Jesus is like I know him he's a good one he's had me inside me he's talked to me he's prayed to me I know him I recognize him Gee, God's gonna say <clears throat> what up bro welcome home I love you welcome in you're worthy of this home through my son Jesus name exalted higher than all others I 100% believe that how how Adam why does this work the koala show is going to have these people asking these questions why, why do you think it's so simple because Jesus while he was here said a lot of things he told us some things it was like not only <laughs> was he going around raising people from the dead healing all types of people sending out disciples throughout the world to get people out of the darkness and wake them up about the reality of Jesus after all this He said through this, he said, hey, you can just repent. Once you, this, <laughs> this is the crazy thing about repenting. I used to be scared of it, kind of, because that would mean I was acknowledging I was going to hell. And since that, I could see how I could go to hell, I thought I was damned. Like, I knew I was damned. I didn't know. I did not know the power of Jesus and I did not know what his sacrifice meant. Now I do. I can't stop talking about Jesus because I know all it takes is to repent and not deny his name. If you if you know of Jesus, there's, there's no reason to, to ever let those words cross your mouth that he ain't the greatest, man. No matter what. This is what, like, think of it like a video game. Think of life like a video game. The greatest character to ever exist was God because he died, came back, and got to chill with the maker. He hanging out with the maker of all. Please. Please understand me. The Lord got me speaking for a reason. My heart is so full and I'm hurting for people. I want to make sure anyone I know knows that God loves them. Knows that they are worthy. Knows that repentance is an everyday thing and it's not supposed to be bad. When I realize I got something to repent, I'm happy. That means I'm more aware how to navigate through this twisted ass world. And I know how to be a better me. Moving forward, I know these things. When the devil is tempting, as he will, I will see more and more every day I grow. And since Jesus made his home in me, I'm a saint. Me and Jesus are one. 
Guess who's one with Jesus? God. Now, last thing I'm going to speak on before I get up off this video. It's very dangerous for the, this generation of people that are going around claiming their gods. And like even people like people on big radio shows. Like, I don't even know if I should. Like, I could talk about um, people's names and probably ruin my possibilities of ever becoming a rapper. But I don't really care. There's people that are spokespeople, like people in the front line of having God in their name, and that's taken away from the Lord. That's not okay. It's not okay. That's not the one thing. I'm, I'm going to touch base on all the things that I'm aware of off the top that are really bad, that are not okay, that are happening now, that make me feel like the end of times are near. People are changing their sex. Now I understand that once in a gazillion there might be a freak of nature. That's harsh to put, but if you guys want to claim people are apes, then you should get behind that statement. Once in a while there's a random person out of the millions of people born. There's once in a while there's one that's a little messed up, got some things twisted. Maybe a girl ended up in a boy's body. That's what you're saying, right? No matter what, I don't believe that person should go change their sex. Like, even if I imagine if I was a girl, like I'm a very, very sensitive man. I prayed to God my whole life to make me more like Him. I've been praying. I've been praying. I've been praying to. To try to have the heart of God. I want to see and feel like him so I can walk through life better and understand and care for his people better. So since I've been doing this, I become more and more sensitive. Things hurt. People hurt me. When people are hurting, it hurts me. Um, if I hurt someone or offend someone, or even come off rude or angry that hurts me because I want nothing more than to put a smile on people's face and make them feel comfortable when I'm around them feel protected, feel safe I want people to have a good time be happy Like I, th I think a lot and a lot of times I think about God so that gets pretty deep so yeah if I, I'm walking around I'm looking like I'm going to try to get into the face. I'll let you see. This is just relaxed. I'll close my eyes. That's my face. Like this is like me trying to be engaged with y'all and be friendly so you guys don't click on my video. This. This is what I like to This is how I be talking. If I'm chilling, if I'm real relaxed, comfortable with someone, this is how I'm be sounding. If I'm really engaged, if I'm putting a lot of energy behind my voice, throwing in those false tones, then I'm going to sound like this. Anyway, it takes a lot. And I do put on a nice face for people during my community service hours. When I'm at work, I'm saying, anyone ask me how my day going? I could be having the worst day, terrible migraine. Great, it's a good day. How you doing, man? I'm not lying. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful I didn't go through what Jesus went through. He had his flesh ripped off. He had to get crucified. <laughs> he got crucified and he's saying, God, forgive these people. They know not what they do. Holy crap. Can you imagine getting beaten, whipped, brought before all these people that should love you and be praising your feet? And you asked the, and they asked, is this enough? Is this enough punishment? And they say, no, he needs to be crucified. He then got crucified and he still, he still kept his promise. I know I said I was going to get up off of here.
but this is the true last thing. I asked God for discernment. Like, I wanted to make sure there was no peace in my heart that had any doubt. And now every day when I wake up, I thank God for another day. I spend a little time with the Lord. And then I start my day knowing that I'm, one, a saint. Two, on a mission to get some more saints woken up so they know that they can be freed from the devil's grasp. And lastly, I no longer have no worries about my, my, uh, my meaning, my goal, my path in life. Because I'm going to keep doing music. I'm going to work my job. I'm going to pay my bills. While I'm doing my music, I've always talked about God once in a while, so that will never stop. When I go to work and I'm talking to some new person doing dishes, why not say, hey, do you know Jesus? You know about Jesus while I'm rocking my Jesus loves you mask. Um, why not? Why not? If you go to work and you're a Christian and you got Jesus and you know that you're safe going to heaven, how can you not? You can't. You can't leave that place without everybody that you work with knowing that you got Jesus and that you are willing to give them that gift too. So, sorry if my page, I'm not sorry if my page is overwhelmed with God, because I got a lot of powerful insight to share with y'all. It's real easy. It's real easy to get Jesus. It's real easy to be saved. And if you are thinking otherwise, if you don't think that Jesus already did half the work and that you just have to do a little more, you're crazy. His sacrifice meant a lot. Just it, it encompasses everyone. Sure. But it does more than just cover a bunch of people. It does a lot. Cast out doubt. Go to bed praying, asking Lord to open your eyes, open your heart. Open your eyes. So you can see, open your heart, and you will get rest through him. Jesus will bring it. Just believe, and f just, it'll be incremental. It'll be incremental, or it will be boom. If you want it to be boom, believe. If you want it to be incremental, just make it a daily practice. Just like you brush your teeth. Give a little chat to God because he's hearing you, I promise. And while you're sleeping, he's going to work miracles through you because his son is in you. If you have any faith in Jesus, and if you have any faith in Jesus, he's inside of you working. And one day he's going to manifest and bring all of us with. And that day could be any time. And you could die any time. 100,000 plus people die in a day. Why not have the parachute of Jesus? I love y'all, man. Thank you for being here. If you watched all this, you the realist. Please smash that like. Subscribe if you felt it. Liking helps channels a lot. A ton. Go like all my videos. Because the more likes, the more YouTube's like, hey, this is relevant. We will share it with people. So please, please, please help a brother out. Hit that like. Subscribe. I love you. No.